When should I be concerned about mucus in my baby's poop? Hello there. Today, we're going to discuss a topic that many parents often wonder about, mucus in a baby's poop. We'll explore when it's normal and when it might be a sign that you should consult a healthcare provider. Remember, it's always okay to ask questions and seek help when you're unsure, especially when it comes to your little one's health. What is mucus in baby's poop? Before we get into the specifics, it's important to understand what we're talking about. Mucus is a slippery, clear, jelly-like substance that lines the intestines to keep the digestive system lubricated. You might occasionally see a little bit of mucus in your baby's diaper. This can be completely normal and part of the natural digestive process. When is mucus in baby's poop normal? Mucus in a baby's poop is not always cause for alarm. It's quite common to see a small amount, especially in babies that are breastfed. The consistency and appearance of an infant's stool can vary greatly and may sometimes include mucus. Another common reason you may see mucus is when your baby is teething. Increased drooling can lead to a little extra mucus in the stool. If your baby seems otherwise healthy and content, there's generally no need to worry. When should I be concerned about mucus in baby's poop? However, there are instances where mucus in baby's poop could be a sign of something more serious. You should contact your baby's healthcare provider if the mucus is accompanied by blood or has a greenish color, your baby has diarrhea and is passing a lot more mucus than usual, there's a sudden increase in the amount of mucus, your baby is showing signs of illness, like fever, vomiting, or is more irritable or lethargic than usual, the mucus is present for more than two days, these could be signs of infection, allergic reaction, or other medical issues that should be evaluated by a healthcare professional. In conclusion, a little bit of mucus in your baby's poop can be perfectly normal. But if it's coupled with other symptoms or changes, it's best to consult a healthcare provider to ensure your little one's health and well-being. Always trust your instincts as a parent. If something doesn't seem right, it's always better to ask. Thanks for watching, and remember, there's no such thing as a silly question when it comes to your baby's health.